what's up everybody welcome back to david e fail uh this episode we're going to get the throttle linkage and stuff hooked up and put the body on and get the body started mounted up getting it to where we need it and stuff we wanted to ride it but it's too wet it stormed last night so ground's too wet so we're not going to take it out right around all we're going to do is spin so so yeah let me go show you so yeah, we're going to get the throttle and stuff hooked up uh got to make the bottom seat mounts that make sure everything else works besides brakes we don't have brakes right now but we'll just flintstone it be okay with that then we go to the body put the body on see what we need to trim out some more start making braces to bolt it up to the frame it's not really a lot but it's still a lot to do so and then the exhaust we'll probably do that last that'll probably be the last thing we do uh, it's ready to run let it run for a little bit air the tires up and put a little fix a flat so we had to get it sloshing around in there but other than that it's good throttle cable's good and stuff got that hooked up all right on to the seat brackets so we will go to the junk pile all right, walking down to the shed. And we're gonna do some parts off this. Now, it was an old champ cart. So we just cut the cage off of it. So now we're going to probably use some of the piping to go in the sleeves for the seat so we'll use this all right we have the cage that went on that carp so we'll probably use the knees sorry for the ones that are probably getting mad I'm chopping up a champ cart roll cage but we need parts so I'm gonna cut them get it to where they go on these sleeves going back to a mount and that should be good so <laughs> pretty cool like that so yeah we'll get started all right we're gonna measure the slots to the seat see about what we need I'm gonna go maybe 12 inches. We'll cut two of them out, 12 inches long. On the back side of the seat, since it goes down, I'll probably cut me a little slant, notch, whatever you wanna call it, in the piping. So, let's go ahead and do that. Get that installed. We'll go from there to putting the body back on. It's way heavier than it looks. So, hopefully this pipe is big enough to go in. Hope it ain't too much. 
I'd hate to cut it up though, but. Oh well. And it's a little dirty. So. Well, black on black really don't work, but oh well. So. Tomato there. Well. See if we can get 24 out of this. On the money. Twenty four. So cut that, see if it'll go in. Now take the glasses on, don't hate on them. I like them. Stylish. Go ahead and start cutting. Bend in this part over and off, kind of lines up. See the bend, so swap around, lean back. Make some notches in that and be right back. We did some notches, well, slants, whatever, whatever you want to call them. That way, the seat won't hit directly on top. We'll probably have to come back, drill some holes, stack it up with some washers. Seat goes on top, bolt straight through to the bottom. So yeah. Okay, so as you can see, got the bolt in, got the rod through. See what I'm talking about the adjuster bolts, if I can cut them down a little bit more. These are flush almost, they look pretty good. Don't stick out. The seat, pretty sturdy, not too bad. So we'll go over what we got. Seats mounted, got the brackets in the bottom. Got that all good, it's getting sturdy. Uh, got the throttle cable on today, which it does pretty good. I just gotta lube everything up. 
Got the exhaust on. Motor mounted right. It's all good. Clutch is on. Sprocket. She's actually ready to ride. Thought we were recording earlier, but we weren't. But we got a few things done, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. See that nice seat cut right there? Trim that out. So now we can get in there without hip rubbing. Uh, I started on the sides. I'm going to use these guards to bolt up the side of the body. But I went ahead and tacked on a new part there and one on the back. Then I did the same thing to the other side. But I'm going to have to trim this down. This, this one was in worse shape, so I'm going to have to trim that down a little bit, get the measurements. So we went ahead and extended that. So they're both onto the side. Then we came and lifted the rear with some uh, three quarter square tubing. All I did was double stack it, welded it in. That way the body sit on a little higher, kind of going with a little rake deal. But uh, body's gonna be maybe four inches off the ground, but it'll be all right. I can just do something to figure out, cover it up. That way it wouldn't look so high, but then again, it'll be okay. So now, I'm going to put the body back on. I'm going to finish the other side. Then probably start with the rear. Coming up. Some of the square tubing. Probably come up right here. You can see it right there. Come up. Then it's going, it's going to come through here. Make me a plate on the inside. And bolt it down right there on both sides then after that the back would be secure the sides would be secure then I got a stall in the front so I'm gonna figure that out Okay, so we went ahead and made these back braces. The little tabs on them. Bofo, pretty level. The tab on top. We're gonna test fit it. We gotta come back and weld that up. And it's got a few tacks on it. So if that sets in right, that would be for the back. So let's put this body on, see what she does. So yeah, body fits. So we're gonna go ahead, take it back off, and weld up the tabs, bolt it down in the back, bolt it down on the sides. I still gotta drill out the slots to bolt down the side pieces. And then we can go to the front. I'll bolt it down to the sides and the rear. Now we gotta come back, figure out the front. It's uh, kind of sagging, so we're going to pick it up. Probably put a bar sag on up there, sag on up here. A little, little bracket like the rear we did. And probably just do two bolts here. Really, that's the only flat spot under there. So, and plus give us wheel clearance. We'll probably 
Well, we'll do that after the fact that we gotta put something under the bottom. Let's see if you can see it. Uh, kinda get you out front. Now, don't mind the wheels. They're, uh, it's gonna be off because of the way the cart frame is made. But, bet you we'll make some fender flares. We'll put some spacers on the wheels, get them going out. But we gotta pick the bottom up, put a bar under there or something. Might make a bumper out of it too. Something retractable, maybe. Coming right out the front. So, We'll probably use it out of the champ cart for a top. So I want to chop this out. I like to bend it. It might put it up on the front for a bumper. Uh, may use the back ends, but we will see. Definitely going to use the bumper on the front and maybe for the rear too. Went ahead and braced up the front. I welded me a piece of uh, square tubing with a little plate. I way the side of the body can bolt in on that side and right here on this side. So the front is pretty sturdy. So yeah, she's looking good and she rolls. So we're going to crank her up, ride her around, test her out. Well, she died on me. Motor's in rough shape than I thought. But, uh, yeah, clutch too. Clutch is over there smoking right now. And ain't got no power, no get up. Exhaust, definitely gonna bring it down around. That way it won't be melting my plastic. Yep, that heat shield. But it's pretty fun. It's not not bad at all it's just we gotta tackle a few more things on it definitely going to get new tires smaller one for this side 
it's kind of got a twist to it but uh new wheels new tires gonna put me a fire extinguisher in there so this is a fire truck do that a siren uh gonna put me a plate on the sides right here on both sides probably gonna put engine number 33 uh front bumper back bumper just a little odd and in thing customize it make it look better what you think Momo? you like it another toy to chase huh but overall she's fun oh yeah fender flares definitely gonna put some fender flares since i cut out too much in the front on the back side so i'm gonna kind of find me something to make some fender flares to shape it but she's coming along